right now I'm joined by Paul McMullen. Now he is a former features editor at the News of the World, the newspaper that kicked off this hacking scandal. Now is it right, Paul, that you worked there with Rebecca Brooks? Um, yeah, I mean I was actually deputy features editor. She was features editor. So in a sense we had the same books, we paid the same private investigators. And so, I mean, the big question is, how is it that I was able to notice we were paying £4,000 a week to private investigators to do things in this, this grey area of legality, and she didn't notice? I think we know now that it's fairly widespread within the newspaper group owned by the Murdochs, but was it encouraged? Um, well, sure. Two of us blew the whistle on this about a year ago, myself in Features and Sean Hoare over on News. Now, talking about the stress we're under, Sean Hoare died yesterday. I mean, he's dead. It's unbelievable. I can't quite take it in. Um, and yeah, he was very open to say that over on news, Andy Coulson, you know, ordered him to do it. And the first job of an editor is to ask where has the story come from, and you know, and where is our proof? And then that would be presented a tape recording of the messages that had been hacked into. The lawyers would ask for a transcript and Andy Coulson would want to read it. So you're saying that it was fairly, it was understood fairly high up at the newspaper, but was there also a sense among editors and journalists there of the power that you held over politicians? Yeah. And uh, was there a sense that they knew what you were up to? Uh, I've got to say yes. I mean, that was why I got involved. I mean, if you look back at the way Murdoch's have shaped the, the British political landscape in 30 years, Margaret Thatcher became prime, a prime minister when she cozied up to Murdoch in the 70s and said you can buy the Times. Tony Blair flew to Sydney. Uh, two days later, the Sun backs Blair. And then Cameron turns up. Murdoch's getting on a bit, so he cozies up to Rebecca Brooks, the chief executive. So there was an understanding in the place that you worked that there was a close relationship there between politicians. Yeah, and I'd switched from News of the World. I was working for The Guardian um, about a year ago, and mm. I was actually hiding in Rebecca Brooks' front garden, trying to get a picture of her horse riding with James Murdoch and David Cameron deciding how they were going to mould the new British Prime Minister. You've got to say that's power. I've got to stop you on that. Okay. Thank you very much, Paul, for joining us.